Hello, this week we're going to be going over how to add social icons to your blog posts um, and pages if you want. This is another tutorial provided by Compete Now, WordPress and eMarketing Tutorials. Give you the keys to your web presence, put you in the fast lane to success. Um, you know, so what we're going to be going over today is trying to encourage people sharing our content across the web, uh, which is always one of our main goals to try to get more traffic, get more people on the site, and um, you know, either generate more sales, more leads, or just more readers, depending on what your goals are. Uh, we had previously created a tutorial that showed you how to add these to the bottom, the bottoms of pages and posts. Uh, a, re a viewer recently asked me to um, ask how you can put the icons above the posts as well as on the bottom. So this is a great plugin. If you still want to just put them on the bottom, you can still do that. This will work fine. But if you want them on the top and bottom, or just the top and not the bottom, uh, this plugin is going to have you covered. Okay, so. With that, we'll get started. If you need to skip ahead at any point, you can. Um, there's a table of contents below. Also, if you want to subscribe for uh, new videos, just subscribe to the channel. Or if you're on the website, or if you want to go to our website and sign up for the, the weekly newsletter that just basically is a notification of a new tutorial that was added, you can sign up there. So first thing I'm going to do is add the plugin. All right, I'm going to go down here, go ahead, add new. And you're gonna search sociable, uh, sociable. I'm just gonna say it's that. All right, and there it is—the first one that comes up by blog play. Hit install. Okay, that's just about done. I'm going to activate the plugin. Okay, so now that it's activated on the left, you'll see that there is um, select sociable plugin. Click on that. Actually, before I do that, while I'm on here, I should probably. Uh, just do a quick search. Okay, good. Those are already off. All right. So, once you activate the plugin, you're going to go to the left and go to select sociable plugin. Click on that. All right. So, there actually is a skyscraper option available. This is the one that's actually to the left and it uh it floats to the left of the blog post. I'm not going to include it in this tutorial because I haven't had much luck with it. It doesn't really hasn't really worked too well for me, so I'm not going to recommend it to you guys, but you can if you want to download this plugin and give it a shot. You can see if it works on your theme, but I have not had very good luck with the skyscraper, but the classic works great. All right, so what we're going to do is go to the left, and classic is already enabled, so go back to select sociable again, and go to sociable options, not skyscraper options, sociable options. Okay, this is kind of how it's going to look once it's on there. You can choose what's gonna like what goes in this little text. So right now it says be sociable share. You know you could also say did you enjoy this? Share it. Okay, so you can type whatever you want. Um, these are all the different icons that are that are already selected. You can add more if you want to add Tumblr. Hacker News, uh, MySpace, Reddit, any of these, all you have to do is um, click on that icon and then we'll go and, you know, if there's a more one, then that'll, these will just be included in the more anyway, so I usually don't don't touch any of these. These all look good. Like, I don't even really, I'm not even too concerned with blink list, um, you know, but I'll leave the rest of them. So you can pick your size, 16, 32, 48, 64. Pick the style. I usually just I like I prefer the default, but you can choose one of these other ones if you want, or you can go real small. And now this is what I was talking. About. You can pick your locations. You know, you can make it so that you're on, it's, if it's on the front page of the blog, you can hit that. But if you want to leave it off, you can. I'm gonna put it on the blog page, put it on the posts and pages. You can make it so it's only on blog posts, or you can make it so it's only on pages, or you can make it so it's both. I'm gonna do both. All right, so I'm gonna keep going down. 
then we'll look at the general options automatic I do want to automatically put them on all of there all the um, posts right, style sheet yep okay so you can keep going down here's the bottom and top do you want the plugin to show on top and bottom so let's say yes for now so that goes on the top the links to open a new window of course okay keep going all right, now hit save changes. Okay, so that's all saved. Now let's see how it looks. All right. All right, so you can see it is on my home page right now. We don't want that. Let's go back to the settings and make sure that that isn't on there. And then it actually be a good example if it if it, the settings something's wrong in the settings it's still on there I can show you how to get them off anyway. Okay, so it was locations. So please select the locations. So it doesn't realize for some reason that that is the home page. So what they're going to do? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to edit my home page. You can see the icons look great, you know, the right hair on there. If you hover over it, all those other icons show up. So I'm going to hit edit. So this is how you can manually make it so the icons don't show up on a certain page. Maybe you might not want it uh, on certain pages. So you scroll down, you see disable sociable. You can click on that, hit update. All right. Now let's go back to the home page. You can see those icons are gone. Okay, so now if we go to the blog, all right, there's the icons right above again. You scroll and read the blog, then they are again on the bottom. Okay, so now I prefer not to have them on the top and bottom, so if you didn't remember you can go down to sociable options and you go to the general options I believe and then uncheck top and bottom hit save and go back to view let's go to a page should be on the pages too see all set just on the bottom not the top it's another tutorial provided by compete now wordpress and mark tutorials give you the keys to web presence putting the fastest success learn more on our website at stockcompeting.com tutorials